Hey everyone, so a couple weeks ago Thrustmaster sent over their new Horizon 5 Edition XR Pro controller, which of course came with this crazy little wheel module. And I gave it a bit of a first look, of course checking out the controller as a whole in Horizon and trying out the wheel module for the first time. But that video was my first experience with the module, and now I've had some time to get more used to it and try it out in a few different games. Because even though this is of course designed around Horizon 5, I think a lot of people are curious to see how the wheel module performs in more sim-focused games like Assetto Corsa. So today, I want to focus more on the wheel module specifically and answer some questions for people that might already have an eSwap controller and are just looking into purchasing the module itself. First, we're going to look at Dirt Rally 2.0. The reason I'm picking this game is because Rally in Horizon 5 was kinda where the module felt best to me. And for what it's worth, even though Dirt Rally is of course great on a wheel, it does still have good controller support with a joystick, and I find it to be quite playable on controller, like Horizon is as well. But of course, Dirt Rally is much more of a sim than Horizon is, so I think this is a nice middle ground test for the wheel module. And yeah, right away it actually feels just about as good as it did on Horizon, maybe even a bit better. I think one of the big reasons that this module works well on Rally is that it gives you a much better perspective of where your wheels are pointed. See, on a joystick, in games with decent controller support, like Horizon or Dirt, there isn't a one-to-one -one connection between your joystick input and what the steering in-game is doing. They dampen movement, limit steering lock based on speed, help with counter steer, and essentially just do a good job of guessing what you're trying to make the car do with an input style that is obviously very different to a real steering wheel. With good joystick support, these assists won't bother you, and might even help you. This is part of why we see joysticks actually being faster in Horizon than wheels. But in Dirt Rally, again being much more of a sim, wheels are extremely competitive here. And this is the kind of niche that I think this module could fill. It gives you some of the benefit of having an input more directly connected to how your car actually steers, while still giving you all the benefits of a controller. With this module, I just have a better understanding of what my car is doing at any given point, and my movements translate better to how I would normally drive on a wheel. Now, of course, I'm not as good as I would be on a wheel. I think it goes without saying that full sim wheels will always dominate the sim racing space, and that's a good thing. But, you know, I saw a lot of people comparing this module against a wheel in my first video, and I just don't really think that's the right comparison to make in this sense. I believe that if you want a racing wheel, you should just get a racing wheel. This doesn't replace that, and I really don't think it's trying to. This is instead, of course, a gamepad that's just been designed to have some of the benefits you would also get on a wheel. Not everyone can fit a wheel in their space or even wants to use one. Controllers are much more convenient and easy to just lean back in your chair or on your couch and enjoy some long play sessions without having your back and arms get sore from a long race. So for me, in games like Dirt Rally, would I choose this controller over my sim rig? No, that's an amazing experience and a controller just can't match that. But would I use this module over a joystick when I don't want to break out the sim rig? Yeah, absolutely, because again, it has all the convenience of a controller while also taking a step into the immersion and control you have on a wheel. Now let's swap over to a game that I knew right away I had the test with this module, Assetto Corsa. This is a game that is notoriously bad on controllers. It is worth mentioning that recently through some mods it's improved, and on consoles it's not the worst thing imaginable, but it is still nothing like the controller experience you get in Forza or Dirt. For most, AC on controllers is just really not worth it. This is a game where the advice across the board is to just get a wheel, and I generally agree with that. AC's wheel support is top notch, and again, like with Dirt Rally, nothing can match that experience. However, for those where a wheel is maybe not an option, or not a preference, this module really could be. For me, this has taken the vanilla controller experience on PC from essentially unplayable 
to actually enjoyable. I think a lot of people are attracted to AC through mods, and one of the biggest mods that attracts new players is SRP. And as someone who's been in the SRP community for a good while now, I've seen so many new players struggle to enjoy the experience because they just have a controller or even keyboard instead of a wheel. SRP is all about high speeds, pretty narrow roads, dodging traffic, and not very grippy cars. So if you aren't on a wheel, you simply might not be able to play and enjoy this mod. With the wheel module though, as you can see, I can cruise with confidence. Dodging traffic is easy enough and I can corner smoothly. Again, this obviously does not replace a wheel, but it does become an experience worth playing on the wheel module. And I think that's a huge step forward from how terrible the normal controller experience is. Do keep in mind that you still do need to dial in some settings here though. Across the board, games generally treat the steering module like a joystick input, so tweaking the speed damping and filters and all that in AC's settings can absolutely help you hone in on the right feel for this module. Also, it's worth noting that you can make similar adjustments in the Thrust Mapper software itself. Alright, now I actually want to wrap up this video by, again, taking it back to Horizon quickly. Because although I gave a lot of my opinions on this in the last video, there is one more thing I want to mention where this wheel module really shines. And that is video creation. When using a joystick to steer, it can be really hard to make the steering movements look natural, and when trying to get cool looking race footage, or even just open world cruising, joysticks are just not a great choice. There have been quite a few times where if I wanted some nice footage, especially drifting footage, I've had to break out my wheel and jump into that to make the front steering look right. With this module though, I don't have to do that anymore because I've basically got a wheel right here in my hands and this lets me get that immersive cruise footage or nice full lock drifting shot without making it look like I just snapped a tie rod. So I know it's a bit more of a niche use case, but if you like creating any sort of cinematic content in racing games and like the convenience of a controller, I think this module is actually a huge boon for that. This is absolutely something I'm going to keep using this controller for in the future. Alright, now before we close out here, I feel it's important to mention that since my first video, I've actually had a good handful of people reach out to me and say that this module has let them play better with a disability, and that is awesome to hear. You know, this module doesn't have to be for everyone or every game, but the fact that it's working for some people and giving them improved control even in games I never would have expected like Rocket League, that's awesome. To me, I feel like it's just about doing something different. I mean, I grew up in an age well before controller standards, where the N64 controller was a thing, and this is what I played some of my first video games on. I played the entirety of the first Need for Speed with a flight stick, and that was pretty normal at the time. I do think, of course, controller standards are a good thing. I like where we've ended up, but these standards might not work for everyone, and it doesn't mean that there isn't still something out there that's better. I think, for example, Steam innovating with their touchpads on controllers is another fantastic example of innovation that might not fit every use case, but definitely works better in some areas. And I think there's some real potential like that to this module as well, and we just aren't really going to see it reach its full potential for a while. Because, well, me and most other older gamers have had tens of thousands of hours with a standard joystick, and I've had about 20 now with this wheel module. So the fact that it even comes close right now to my abilities in a game like Horizon with a joystick is still quite impressive to me. I mean, I have thousands of hours in Horizon games on a joystick alone. Now, I still haven't made any direct comparisons between something like a Rivals Time in Horizon on the wheel module versus joystick, and I think I'm going to have to give myself just a bit more time with this wheel and then do another quick video showing off that direct comparison. So keep an eye out for that, and thanks for watching everyone.